Do I have to stay here? This place is awful. Yes. Y you need help, honey. This is for the best. I just want you to get well and, and get back to your old self. You don't even care. You're just dumping me here because you don't want to deal with me. That's not true. I love you and I want you to be happy. I'd be happy if I could have a cigarette right now. Why don't you try to quit? Y you can't smoke for 48 hours. Use this as a start to quitting. If you had to stay here, you'd want a cigarette too. This is literally the most stressful thing I've ever been through and I can't even have a damn cigarette. Well, this is the most stressful thing I've ever been through as well. Do you think I want to leave my 16-year-old daughter here? They're bringing you some nicotine patches. How have you even been getting cigarettes? Sometimes people I know buy them for me. And sometimes I talk strangers into it and, oh, some places even sell them to me. Well, when everything is settled down and you're feeling better, I'll, I'll help you quit. But why don't you try to quit now? You, you can't smoke for two whole days. You could start right now. Give it up, Mom. I can't wait for the clock to strike 48 so I can go for a walk with all of these crazies and have a goddamn cigarette. It's the only thing I can look forward to now. <laughs> My life is falling apart. John? will probably break up with me. We've been going out for a month and now I have to call him and tell him that I'm in a goddamn loser. Don't, Don't worry about anyone but yourself. I, I, I'm trying to help you, but, but I, and I don't want to leave you here any more than you want to say. Yeah, stop the act, Mom. The nurse is in this room. You don't care. Yes, I do care. God, I, I'm very upset. And, and you couldn't even care less. Do you think that any mother knows how- You can't wait to get out of here and go hang out with your boyfriend. You can go now. You've done your good deed for the day. You dropped off your poor daughter at the psych ward. She can't even leave even if she wanted to because she's a fucking minor. I'm trapped. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm here. Here, here, and here. I'll walk you through it, okay? Charlotte, I'm gonna need you to take off your shoelaces, belt if you have one, all of your jewelry, and what safety pin in your ear? Yeah. Sometimes I, uh, I even use it to cut myself. I can't take off my belt. My pants will literally fall off. That's not a problem. It happens more often than you think. <laughs> Tom, please don't sign that. Maybe I can just come home, or maybe there's a, a better place where there's Charlie, honey, this is for the best, at, at least for a few days. Uh, I'll look into some other places when I get home, but you can't come home tonight. The doctor says that you are a day. Take off that belt and shoelaces here. Hold up your pants, walk over to the bathroom, change into these. Um, I, I'm going to come back in the morning and, and, and bring some more of her things. What time did you say visiting hours are again? Visiting hours. The start. lock is broken. <laughs> what the hell? No, no locks on any of the doors. <laughs> How about when people shower? How the hell will I shower if there's no lock on the bathroom door? No locks on any of the doors here.
So visiting hours are from 10 a.m. to noon mm -hmm. and 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. But if you're just coming to drop off for things, you really can come back at any time. Are you sure she'll be okay? She's so young. I We deal with fighting of adolescents here. We have another adolescent female here right now, Charlotte's roommate, actually. I think Ava and Charlotte are going to get along quite well. And Charlotte's other roommate actually has some substance abuse issues, so I think they'll have a lot in common. Oh, Charlie doesn't really have any drug issues. She just smoked weed a few times. I don't think putting her in the room with a drug addict is a good idea. I understand. Mary also has a lot of the same issues Charlotte has. Depression, anxiety, anorexia. I think that they'll be a good fit. And there's Ava, who's the same age and has no other issues besides depression. Hey, come here. Yeah, you, you, come here. Can you please move this table out of the way for me? I just gotta go to the bathroom. No, 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 Son no. Of a bitch. Never, ever, Son of a ever bitch. move this table. No, He's really about what? it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 you, Mommy, why don't I take you back to your room? I take you to your room. Why don't you get some rest? This has been a really long day. Why don't you just get some rest and um, I'll come back in the morning, okay? You're really gonna leave me here in the same place where that lunatic sleeps? I'm not crazy, Mom. Of course you're not crazy, sweetie. It's just that I really think that, you know. Oh no! Tommy! Tommy! Manpower! Five north! Fuck! Oh, great job, great job. Oh, let's go. Come. I'm not crazy. That guy is crazy. You're not crazy, Charlie. I just don't want you to hurt yourself anymore, and this is the safest place for you to be tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Because I feel most concerned for my well-being here than anywhere else. There are no locks, and that guy sleeps here, Mom. This is temporary. Just till we find the right long-term care and medications for you. We'll get you out of here as soon as I get my bearings. I've never been through anything like this before. I, I, I'm really scared. I, I just want you to be okay and, and get the best help that you can. Charlie, please look at me. I want you to get well. I want the old Charlie back. Can you please just stop calling me Charlie? I'm sorry. I'm just scared that I'll be like this forever. Being here makes me feel like, like there's no hope. Like, how can this place even help me, Mom? If it doesn't, we're going to find someone that will. The nurse said that there's two kinds of patients here. There's the people in group A, similar to you, with anxiety and depression and things like that. And, and that guy, he's, he's in group B. And, and, and your roommate is your own age? Please, just, just stay here tonight and I'll come back in the morning and we can reevaluate then, okay? We'll say goodbye to mom. Let me come with you. I promise that I'll be good. I promise that I'll, I'll stop smoking. I'll, I'll stop hurting. I'm myself. sorry, but I have to go and you have to stay here tonight. I love you, sweetie. Please get some rest. Unlock the door. That was the scariest moment I had experienced thus far. I was trapped, jailed, until my useless doctor and mother deemed it reasonable enough to release me. My hatred 
for my mother rose rapidly as I stood there in disbelief that she would actually leave me here. Hate was all I could admit and all I could perceive. But what I didn't know at the time was that that wouldn't be the scariest moment for long. The overdoses, rehabs, arrests would all top this moment tenfold. Five years after 5N, I'd stumbled into a local 12-step meeting, begging for help. And it would take a couple of years of recovery before I finally contemplated what it might have felt like for my mother on the other side of the door that night. Perhaps that was the scariest moment of her life as well. <sighs> Looking back, I, I don't know how I was unable to see how much she loved me. I finally made amends when I was three years sober. I thank God for the five years that we shared together, for the ability to feel her love and emulate it back to her in real time. The scariest moment of both of our lives happened when she lay in hospice at only 54 years old, clutching my hand she begged me to remain steady on the path of recovery. She begged me to show the world the many gifts that had laid dormant inside of me for so long. When the day breaks, I hope it all works great for you. The sun comes down, I wanna be home with you. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed Five North. I know I did. Please welcome the playwright, Chris Cuff. Hi. Hi, thank you for having me. No problem. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel? It was a pretty cool experience from start to finish. Writing it, submitting it, being selected, it winning, being in it. It was a really cool experience. Okay. Yeah. So before we get and dive into the deep details, let's talk about your journey from wherever your acting started to where we are now. So about a year and a half ago, I was 35 years old and thinking, um, when am I going to start this idea of a life that I have, you know, like creativity wise? Mm. When is it gonna start, right, 35? So um, I started taking acting classes, I started writing again, um, started taking yoga, and I uh, started doing stand-up comedy, and everything creativity wise just started flowing, and um, then a friend got in touch with me, told me about the Playwrights Festival, and I'd never written a play before. Never written a play? No. And you're here now? Yeah. Dreams come true, people. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about it. So you, you decide to act, you do comedy, the, it shows up in your inbox or text message, the Playwrights Festival, which is uh, pretty much going on now, people can submit. Uh, what were you thinking? Like, how did you go from steps, idea, like this is what it's going to be to, like you said, like to, to the point where you were like, I can submit this. So it's, I've always had this idea, I've even written a short story many, many years ago about this idea. So I sat down and started writing a rough draft of the play. Um, there were other characters in it at the time, um, so I do have a, an idea of writing a full three-act play. I have ideas for the psych ward stay for Charlotte. Um, and I had some of those in the original draft, and then I found out there were really only allowed to be four characters, so I pulled that out. And um, I had pretty much up to the ending, and I couldn't figure out how to end it. Um, it was driving me crazy. How am I going to kind of tie everything in in this short little segment, this one act play? And then I had the idea to do a monologue. Um, and I really liked how it ends. It kind of 
brings you kind of into the future and then jars you right back to the present moment like the nurse comes and walks her and she's like oh yeah you're stuck in the psych ward tonight even though all this great stuff or bad stuff is going to happen um, you're stuck in the psych ward tonight right. well I will say it's a transformative piece uh, I think whenever anyone talks about the subject of mental health, it's, it's, a, it's a responsibility of really being careful about how you approach it. And I think you did an exceptional job. Thank I think so our much. audience will think the same too. Thank you. So, you know, what was the inspiration for it? So parts of this piece were inspired by things that have happened in my own life, uh, things that have happened in family members' lives and close friends. So um, it's kind of a conglomerate of some actual events um, and then some ideas that I've had around those events. Okay. So let's talk about your favorite character in the piece. Who would that be? Definitely Charlotte. And why? Well, I, I think I identify with Charlotte in a lot of ways. I was a difficult adolescent um, and I remember having feelings like she has which um, you know nobody loves me everyone's against me you're doing this to hurt me when um, in fact my family was doing certain things because they loved me mm -hmm. and and so that line in the play where she says I don't know how I didn't see their love like definitely comes mm -hmm. from from me that was actually something that that has happened to me where there's been a huge transformation and almost kind of looking back saying how did I not see it right I think that's something we can all identify with I know looking back at some things that my parents did I was like you know back mm -hmm. then I was like you don't care for me mm -hmm. I'm grown <laughs> and now as an adult I'm like thank oh. God they didn't let me shave my head or <laughs> Take that cross-country trip. Right. <laughs> there were reasons. There were reasons. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm grateful for that. And I think, you know, especially with social media today, a lot of what, you know, mm. you hear, it's, it's important. So I applaud you for taking that, that step and putting Charlotte there. When you were, so before we even get to, to really more of the story, when you were thinking about just itself writing, what were some of the things that you did to help you know, get you prepared in the mindset to do so? Because you, you said you, you, a year ago you took the initiative, it was like, I want to live the life that I want to live. Mm. You get the, you, you were writing short stories. What things did you have to prepare for? So I know you mentioned yoga. Was that part of the process? It was actually. Um, I, I strongly believe in the law of attraction. Hello. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so I would, um, I think that being grateful and thinking of positive things before you sit down to write is super important. And then mm -hmm. literally writing all your ideas down, not thinking of them as good or bad, because something might look not that great while written down now, but could become something greater later on. So I think I would just write stream of consciousness ideas and then pick from it. Um, I still have, I have something called dump doc on my computer, which is just ideas. And it's, I mean, I don't even know how many pages it is, 30 pages at this point maybe, and it's just ideas. I want a dump doc. Everyone should have a dump doc. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> major key alert, <laughs> have a dump doc to yeah. save your ideas. Yes, because then they just float back into space and you never remember them. So when you were writing, did you go back and you're like, dot, dot, or you, you talked about you, you had many more characters. Yes. And in the, the Playwrights Festival, we, we limit you to mm -hmm. about three to four. Mm -hmm. So did you take them out, put them in the dump dot? Yeah, they're, they're there. Like, you're gonna bring them back? Oh yeah. Like, uh-huh. Uh okay, uh -huh. okay, I see you, I see yes. you. Yes. All right, do you, can we do a dump share? Like We should. I think so. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, you know, like I said, beautiful piece, beautiful piece of Thank work. Thank you so much. I feel like this is your 24-7 job, but it is not. No. What do you do? <laughs> I am an actuarial analyst, so I sit in a cubicle and do math all day for insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Do I make sweet numbers? love to Microsoft Excel all day. Do you all see day. numbers? Do all numbers day. Up? <laughs> They're just, yeah, They're like, just like goodwill hunting. It's just, that's my life. Yeah, okay. no, not no. really. No. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I thank you for taking the initiative to write this piece because, like I said, it's, it's something wonderful that you've created. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about the trajectory. So how has, it, what was it like when you, I mean, what was the feeling like when you found out that you were one of the three? Mm. Confidence. I felt confidence in my writing for the first time, I mean, since high school maybe, you know, um, and, and I haven't really written too much since college. So uh, I really got to the point where this isn't 
it's not good. No one's ever going to want to see it or listen to it or anything. And um, there was some confidence and a little boost. Um, kind of also like a little, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. um, keep doing this. You know, there's a purpose for it. And then when you saw it come to life mm. with the characters, right? And you actually, so f fun fact here, you played the nurse. Yes. You played the nurse. And when you, did, when you wrote the script, did you intend to participate? I hoped to, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't know if that would actually happen. I didn't know how PATV would feel about a playwright mm -hmm. being in the play. Um, and I wasn't sure I'd get the part. But I did write the nurse mm -hmm. to be in her mid-30s and female. Um, in the hopes that maybe I could play her. <laughs> and you actually submitted <laughs> yes. a read? Yes. You went through the process. I read the sides, I submitted it, and was chosen. Double so winning. Yeah, Double yeah winning. that's true. So that's you true. submitted, <laughs> you got selected, and then you performed by submitting. Yes. Can I five you? Hi. Right on, girl power. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're watching it come to life, like describe that. Like did the words feel, I mean, to see the words on paper and then to s hear them, how did it feel? I don't know if I can describe it. Um, it was, it was an uh, unbelievable feeling um, to have something that came from nothing exist. I don't mm -hmm. know how else to put it. It was really amazing to hear my written words be spoken by these actors and, and, and then to watch what was just put on today, um, again, on, from my computer, me sitting there with ideas to, to an actual play was, it was a cool journey to watch and be a part of. And you mentioned that you want to develop it more. Yes. Now, I have, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, little, I'm a little nervous. So, and, and the reason why I say that is I think it's perfect. Mm. You know, how do you, how do you see, I mean, do you care to share with the audience? I mean, I don't want to give away stuff. <laughs> but how do you see it evolving, if any? I would love to have another act or two of her stay in the psych ward. Mm. So um, Ava would be one of the characters, okay. uh, which is her roommate. Okay. So um, yeah, and Tommy would have a lot more scenes. Uh, so you know, I, I'd like to develop that. Okay, okay. So I, I like Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy was doing things. Tommy's good. Yeah, Tommy's good. <laughs> okay. um, so I think. You know, for anyone who's watching right now, and, and just so we know that the playwrights uh, competition is going on right now, so you can submit, you know, as Chris has done. Uh, you know, send it out, send it to, there should be a, a, a lower third with the information, but you can go to the PATV.org website to find out more. Uh, but for those people who are contemplating writing, like mm. you said, you, you didn't really you wrote, but you wasn't really writing. You've no, never no, done no. a screenplay. No, no. What, what are the things that you think they should do? What are the three main things you would tell them and how to approach it? Mm. Um, well, I know for me, fear got in the way for a long time. Um, ideas I had about no one will ever look at this or whatever. So don't let fear get in the way. Um, and I guess connected to that would be my perfectionism. It has to be perfect. And I even submitted it before I felt I was done because wow. the time came up. So I don't even feel that I'm 100% done. I'd switch some words here and there. So um, don't let perfectionism <laughs> get in the way. And um, I guess um, my, my best advice would be just sit down, shut up, and do it. Well said. Write it. Well said. Uh, the world needs to hear it. Yeah. Someone said that as an artist, you never feel like you're done with a piece of work. Yeah, I really identify with that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I stick the stick figures. <laughs> Once I got the parts, yeah, done. Done. <laughs> Well, um, I appreciate you being here, and, and I'm, I'm blown away by what you've accomplished. So what new things should we see from you? What's happening as a result of this or just in general in the next well, few? I am going to continue working on this piece and expand it. Um, so hopefully you'll see something like that. I am in a play in a couple of weeks. Ooh. There's another Playwrights Festival, um, and I'm in one of the pieces there. Um, I have a pretty big role, so I'm excited about that. And I do stand-up. I work at Governors, um, so you'll definitely be seeing my name around uh, here and there. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted to ask you something funny, but... I don't know, or maybe you should say something, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> unrelated. 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 All right. Well, congratulations Thank again. Thank you so much, Carly. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me.
And for everyone who's watching, I can't stress this enough, the competition is going on right now. Go to patv.org to submit. Um, it's open until May 15th. Did I say April 15th before? May 15th. So definitely submit, and as Chris has said, just do it, just do it, and keep a dump doc. Mm -hmm. Just let it all out. Stream of consciousness. Am I streaming? Yes, I streaming? it's good. It's good, it's good stream. stream. Good stream. Good stream. Stream of consciousness. Yeah.